All right, let's uh, go on with the Cree game. So, situation is that this guy is very strong right now. He's the one with the highest number of cities. We've seen that in our previous video. He has five plus a capital, that's six cities already. I have only three, I'm about to get the fourth one. I'm going to get this one, just in case, in case he sends a setter all this way here. I don't want to see that. And maybe if I want to get city number six, I can get this one here, if I want to do it peacefully. Eventually, it looks like I'm going to go to war against him. So that is something to consider. Anyway, let's hit next turn. Your delegation is most welcome because that means I get 25 gold, which means uh, next turn I can purchase another monument. And that's very good. You always want monuments, yeah? Uh, natural philosophy, yeah, good for them. So, um, how much is uh, water mineral? 300 is something, something. Okay, um, hmm. But this guy has a... The, the, yeah, this guy gives me faster stuff, so... Uh, oh yeah, but I need to chop this first, right? Yeah, I need to chop it. So, let's just get a builder. We have an envoy which is not going to give us anything new here, so we're not going to send him yet. Uh, we are visiting... Oh, hello, Anton Arrivo. What do you want? Train a catapult, train a galley. Galley, probably not going to happen. Catapult, uh, I don't know, I could do it, I guess. Shaka is Oh, and uh, look at that, Genghis is trying to attack. And he's not been very successful at it. Uh, okay, settler or uh, here, yeah. And you go there and try to fog bust a little bit. Uh, you give me a city. You recover sailing. The inspirational side of Torres the Painful City or New City, blah blah, with joy. A city is placed within two tiles of a natural wonder. Okay, I had no idea this was a thing. But this is very good. You get plus three at a score if you place a city two tiles next to a natural wonder. And obviously we got one more from the Eureka. That means we are at 30 already. Normal age is guaranteed. And, and we have a very good chance of getting another 11 points in 25 turns or more, actually. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And also we boosted sailing, of course. Um, we are in, in big need of a lot of builders, basically. We have a builder deficit right now in pretty much all of our cities. So I'm going to build a lot of builders everywhere. Okay, this fella is going to just, I don't know, stay here, I guess. Mm -hmm. So loyalty situation, wha what is it? Mm, yeah, everybody's fine. Okay, four cities is easy to keep happy, five cities is a lot harder, so I need to, to get this extra tobacco traded with, with someone for another luxury. That's what I need to do. Uh, but we are getting it, we are getting a builder. So... Mm. Well, I don't know. There is a spot that is close to her, but you know what? I could promise for a while. I'm going to promise for 30 turns. I don't need to settle this city right now. I'm going to settle this one. She's not going to care about this one. It's too far from her capital. And then I could even settle here, actually. Use this river, you know what I mean? Like, this is this fresh water. Yeah. I could settle here, actually. And that 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 is actually a better city, probably. Than, uh, than this one here. This one is kind of rubbish actually compared to this one. So yeah, that's an option.
Oh, I cannot go there. Okay. Well, hopefully Genghis and Shaka will will fight each other eventually. Hey, you! Can you let me do this? Finally! <laughs> Finally! They're pleased with the local brigade people. Same government. We send them a delegation. Okay, good. So is this an, uh, an open agenda, or what's what's his deal? No, this, this is the hidden agenda. Okay, so that's totally fine. Shaka still unhappy with me. Yeah, we're not going to be able to fix that anytime soon. But if we manage to control this guy, we might be able to play peacefully almost the whole game, maybe. Or a lot of it, until we decide to like Shaka or someone like that. Anyway, um, mm -hmm, this is all good. And um, I wanted to, I think I, I feel like I wanted to do something else. Okay, this, is, this is still the same. Uh, okay, we're going to get one governor with this, which is fine. I didn't get halfway there yet. We want this second campus soon, so we can get the boost for recorded history. Okay, so he's happy that I don't have a big uh, cavalry, which is going to stay like that for pretty much ever. I only have one source of horses. Morgulia is a warrior. Oh, what just happened? Okay. So I completed the f my first technology from a new era, and that gave me another point. Uh, 31. Okay, we only need 10 more, come on guys. Um, I need to learn about all of the ways of getting those points, honestly. Um, maybe completing the ancient era would be something useful. I am going to need sailing, so that's fine. Okay, let's do sailing for now, see what happens later. And the uh, builder is coming, builder in 15, builder in 4. Okay, we're going to get another builder here after the campus actually. So that's fine. Or I could get a library as well. We're going to have some nice money very soon. Friendship Aspire. Can we make friends with this guy though? Okay, so at least on immortal difficulties, look like it's getting easier to be friends with people. At least on this map. Mm -hmm. Library is three sixty, water mill three twenty. I could also purchase monument up here. Um, produce a water mill, then produce a library. Yeah, let's do that. And, and purchase a freaking monument up here. Mm -hmm. The settler is coming. Do we want to sell here or do we want to sell here first? Now this city is a lot better of course. But this one is closer to my capital so it's here for legacy. I mean, here I have a new luxury though, so that's important. Now I am going to get cotton as well. This boat has two bananas. Ah, uh, damn it! I think I think I want this one before the Cree. Uh, before the Mapuche take it away from me like they did the last time. We don't want that happening again. <laughs> Even if it means delaying the silk a little bit, the cotton will be enough for a while, I think. 27 gold per turn is pretty nice. To purchase all of my monuments, I like purchasing them. 
to get culture fast. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me. And we can fish this luxury eventually as well with this city. So that's good. This linger needs to go here. Fog bust for the settler. Oh, and we have a new builder. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. How many turns? Four. Okay, I can wait four turns. That's all right. All right, good purchase for the horses. Yeah, Let, let's go and, and grab some horses. Okay, so you are going to get me. Masonry in two, then maybe astrology in one. We will complete the ancient era. I think there is something about it when it comes to golden age points. I'm not sure though, but I think there is a water mill or just another builder. I will have the builder policy for a while, so let's use it. Recorded history, no. Oh, I need to go games and recreation first. If I want to get defensive tactics, will I get construction anytime soon? I could. But I need horseback riding first. Okay, we're going to go here. Huh, that is a lot of faith that I could use to buy stuff later on. And gives me two iron, which I don't have otherwise. I could try to get this wonder. Must, must be on a desert hill's terrain. Uh, I could do it here. And that's it. Good thing about that is that you don't get a lot of competition. It's a very specific terrain. Well, we'll see about it later. Uh, I'm not going to boost games and recreation soon enough, so let's just go for it. And then defensive tactics. But let's do it one at a time, so I remember to change my things according to Eureka and stuff like that. Okay. Next turn. This is a fairly peaceful game, despite the fact that I have Shaka and Genghis on my continent. What? Puel Mapu, where? Oh dear. He's, he's right in my door. Okay, let's see. Puel Mapu is one, two, three, four tiles away from his capital and four tiles away from my capital. So this city is easy to conquer and keep loyal. We have the same distance. I think it's easy, or at least not so hard to keep loyal. Um, this is fine. Is it all right what we're working here? Or do we want the money? The money and the science. Which at this point is still relevant. You know what? I'm going to go money and science. For now. And this fella here, four turns to grow, eight turns for the builder, three turns to grow. Okay, let's go in three and then we get the builder fast anyway. Um, yeah, so that's fine. We're getting this style in three turns, which is perfect. All right. Okay, I think we're fine. Mongolia received a foreign delegation from the Netherlands, that's totally fine by me, I don't have any problem with that. Let's get a water mill. Uh, in the meantime, this guy is going to clear the campus. Oh, wait. Actually.
Yeah, let's do that. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to get this tile anytime soon. So I have to purchase it. Because I want to build the campus there as soon as possible. Next turn. Water mills are pretty nice. One food and one production with just one building is pretty nice. I guess I could start building granaries eventually. But they are not so necessary early in this game. So the situation is still the same, right? Pretty peaceful everywhere, except for Netherlands and the Zulus that hate each other. Okay, fine. I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, so that's another mountain. Oh, wait a second. This tile would be awesome for a campus. But that would leave my city without water. Oh, but look at that campus, man. That's one, two, three, four plus four adjacency. That is that is seriously tempting. I'm uh, seriously considering getting a dry city. The problem is if I get a dry city, I cannot get this one later, right? One, two, three, four. I could settle here. Settle here. Purchase a granary. Eventually get an aqueduct next to the mountain, I guess. It is an option. And then eventually get a super campus over there. Or just settle here with proper housing. And get a fairly decent campus here with plus 3 adjacency. This is plus 3, this is plus 4, so it's really not such a huge difference. And I wouldn't have to build an aqueduct and I wouldn't have to run for a granary. Because if I sell here, it's just two housing at the beginning, which is awful. Yeah, yeah, let's stick to the original plan. I'm going to have my city here. It's also closer to the capital, which is good for loyalty and the stuff. No emergencies yet. I think emergencies just appear at some point. I cannot, there is no menu for them. I don't see, I don't see them anywhere. Okay, let's click next turn. I don't see any any emergencies. Okay, so religion. What's the deal? Mapuche, unmet player, unmet player. When wasteful war shall statues overturn and broils root out. Okay, fine, sure, why not? Okay, we have everything in the ancient era and nothing happened. So it's just that it was super cheap to get it in the end. I'm going to go ahead and work it. I'm never going to boost it. And maybe I can get this wonder. I don't know. It's, it looks like a long shot, but maybe I can get it. Uh, this guy can go over there. This guy will come here. All right. We're getting water meals and builders. Okay, that's that's absolutely um, acceptable. The Sulus keep expanding, so it's a good thing that we are expanding as well because these guys they really don't stop. I can uh, check the number of cities when it's not my turn, apparently. Uh, let's try to do it now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, plus a capital 7. And the Zulus have 6. Meanwhile, Netherlands got stuck at 4. And Mongolia got stuck at 5. So, hmm. Yeah, the Mapuche, uh, they look like they're going to die. At my hands. Mm -hmm. What are we building here? Builders, I guess. 
remove this then we can maybe chop something I don't know got this and now how are we doing okay happiness is fine thanks to that remove this one get this one it has more gold and a culture point which is also good what happens The bureaucrats of Mapuche are piked but by our boldness in selling Kinosiu Sakahikan so near their own city of Ina Piramapu. A city is placed within five tiles of another civilization city. Um, yes, it is. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they did it here as well. So, you know. Still, all of my cities are closer to my capital than anybody else's capital so I think that's important yeah loyalty is fine loyalty is fine we're not having trouble with that this guy can totally chop this boosted construction somehow oh yeah by building a water mill of course then we can use the extra hammers for a better campus plus three that's awesome let's do it you can give me one extra tobacco thing yeah that's gonna give me something to trade with and then maybe we can chop one of these tiles oh another Eureka gives me another point that's true so we are at 33 right now we only need 41, we only need 8 more, and we have 16 turn, at least. I wish I knew what else I have to do to get more Golden Age points. I mean, apart from getting Eurekas and getting Libraries, I know that the Libraries will help me, right? Uh, one minute depression... Plus one score from the minute price size has been healed. Yeah, so if I get two Libraries, that's, that's another 2 points. Can I get more Eurekas, actually? Ancient Walls. That's another Eureka. Two sea resources. Maybe not. Iron Mine, absolutely not. Three Mines. Yeah, sure, I can do that. Three Archers, I can do that. Okay, I can, you know what? I can get a bunch of Eurekas, so I'm going to focus on that. Okay. And then, will I get attacked here? Maybe. So, we're going to leave a guy there. Okay, and I can upgrade those those guys to archers, actually. Like this, and like this. And then I only need one more archer. That will give me a Eureka. And, and that's good. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. Yeah, they switch governments to whatever, I don't care. Autocracy is pretty bad anyway. Okay, here I'm getting a library. That's an Eureka, a Eureka point. Um, I guess I can improve a tile for this city, my new city. Campus is coming in 10, that's acceptable. Amsterdam just got city walls. These guys don't have city walls all over the place. Sooner or later to find time for Colosseum is a very nice wonder in this context. I have all my cities very close to each other. I will eventually go for it. Oh, how are we doing with the whole great writer stuff? Well, look at that. Ten turns, twenty, less fifteen turns actually, something like that. 15 it's 30 plus yeah 
14 turns actually I think it's gonna be enough but 15 for sure if these guys don't get ahead of me maybe in 15 turns I get a great writer that could be awesome absolutely awesome um, if I did it okay recorded history is about to get boosted mysticism is for a quick revolution uh, a few turns on defensive tactics or just military training because I'm never going to boost military training I mean what do I want to go for I want to go for exploration yeah for mention Republic as usual so I do need military training and I'm, I'm not going to get it anytime soon I will put a couple of turns here in defensive tactics then military training so builders are coming all over the place that's good I'm going to keep doing builders faster gold sure unless I want something else like plus one production in every city lose for gold to get plus one production in every city looks like something good I mean I have less than 10 in every city except these ones yeah you know what let's go with the production for a while I think I need more than the money and I'm trying to get a great writer here which is kind of crazy bet crazy gamble on Diri I would definitely not be doing that but since we're playing on Immortal let's give it a shot Mongolia is expanding um okay and Amsterdam is getting ready for a defensive war which is a smart move in my opinion um okay what did we get here a builder okay that's fine that's absolutely fine we're going to go uh, water mill now then something else then here we can actually completely chop the water mill yeah we're going to start by chopping the water mill or chopping a part of the water mill okay we have a nice plantation here mm. Do I want to lock it instead of this? I could lose production but gain two gold, which is a nice amount of gold. So let's do it. Okay, and here we get a plantation as well. This guy can lock it for sure. Uh, why? No, don't do that. Lock it. Yeah, that's fine. Two turns to grow, 12 turns for the builder. It's probably going to be less than that. Okay, do we want to purchase this tile just to take it away from this city? I think the answer is yes. And this one, sure. This one is more important because of the forest. I'm going to say yes. All right. Okay, so they want open borders. They're giving me some money. And the ivory for the tobacco and you know what I'm gonna say yes because I want the extra luxury and I definitely want the money okay so every trading post in a new civilization gives me one of those points so I'm guessing I could send a trade route to the Zulu or to Genghis or well to the Sulu seems like a smart move or I'm only going to get one free tile. I would try to do it from here though. I get one to get two tiles over there from Mr. Wasis. Yeah, so let's go to Mr. Wasis first. Is she hating me already because we don't have a trailer right right now? Hmm. Not yet. 
Okay, so we have one action left. Uh, let's start building mines. I want to get the, the boost for building three mines. Okay, so that works. Gives me a few turns of the water meal production. This library is going to give me another point, which is good. I really want that golden age on the next era. Great library, yeah, great library is rubbish. It is still rubbish, right? Like receive formation and classical technologies. Receive a random tech boost after another player recruits a great scientist. Okay, that's new. It's, it makes it a little bit better, actually. So good. Good, good, good. That's interesting and not so good for me, obviously, because now they have it. But It's good to know, I guess. Um, can you go water mill or do you need another builder? Uh, you could totally use an ore builder. Let's go. Let's go. Water mill here. I'm going to build uh, builders somewhere else. And this guy can go to Hatusa for one food and seven. Uh, okay, whatever. Netherlands. Okay, I can get a lot more gold uh, in other cities, but this one gives me more food and more science and faith. I think the gold is more interesting right now for me. Yeah, I think this is more interesting right now. We have 35 gold per turn now, which is pretty good. Let's get a sweet mine there. Very nice one. Because of this natural wonder. This city has a lot of potential, actually. This trade route is going to give me this style and this style. That's pretty good. Because both of them are touching the natural wonder. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. And now you are getting that, getting more production, which is nice. And we have another mine, and this is going to be a mine that's going to be two. So I only need one more mine in order to get the boost. I can put one here actually, if I chop it. All right. And after we finish this library, I guess we can get one more builder over there. That being said though, I think it's time for a break. We are absolutely going for this golden age, okay? We are only seven points away, 11 turns though. So I, I need to hurry up. I need to hurry up with this. I need to, so I get another library. I need to get more, more boosts. So let's, let's go for it. Let's see what happens. Let's see if we can get a golden age uh, on this era.